In this worksheet called Scenario, we've got some budget projections for the year 2014. And although we can't see the formulas right now, as we look at February, March, each of these formulas as we move rightward is based ultimately on what happens in January. Now, let's say this is our initial estimate as what's going to happen in 2014. But we'd also like to keep another set of numbers that might be less optimistic. Maybe we're going to have lower sales. We might be considering another list just like this that shows the impact of higher cost of goods and freight. And so one approach to this could be, why not just have three or four different worksheets, all looking pretty much the same, but starting off with different numbers. All of these worksheets will have something in common, and that is the so-called ripple effect. When the January numbers change, it causes changes all the way across the worksheet. Now this worksheet, as you might expect, goes all the way for the entire year. And then as we move downward here, there is a total in the lower right-hand corner, which is our gross profit. It's in cell R35. And that's also reflected at the top of our screen with the simple formula right here to remind us what that total is. R35. Now, let's imagine that we want to keep what we're seeing here and also have stored a less optimistic projection, a more optimistic projection. We might have four or five different kinds of scenarios in mind. We can store them all in this same worksheet and using a new button that we will install on the Quick Access Toolbar, display any one of them fairly rapidly. So let's start with the idea that we want to first define the current scenario as being either our original or our normal or some word like that. So we'll click somewhere within the data and then go to the data tab and choose what if analysis and then choose scenario manager. And we're going to add a scenario called, let's say, normal, original, something like that. And we're not really going to change any cells here, but for our other scenarios, we are going to be changing, for example, how about cell B5, B6, B10? We could choose a bunch of them, perhaps, just a few this time. Changing cells. How about these two, comma, and this one? Click OK. Now, we're not really going to change them this time, so we'll just click OK. So all we've done here really is saved our original layout, which we've called normal. But let's add a new scenario, and we'll call this low sales. It's prompting us with the same cells to be changed, and this time we will change them. And we'll change the 137,000 to be, let's say, 130,000. And our shipping income here, from 26,700 down to 25,000. And maybe we won't even change the cost of goods because we're just simply about to call this low sales. So we'll just click OK. We've now defined a low sales scenario. We might look at it, we haven't seen it yet. And as I click show, keep an eye on that 450,000. That's 332,000 under our low sales projection. Well, let's add another one. But before doing that, let's return to the normal scenario, show that. And now let's add another scenario. This time we'll call it high sales. And eventually we might have another one called uh, high cost of goods or high sales, low cost, any combination thereof, any kind of different scenarios that might make sense. Click OK. Now high sales. Instead of the original 137,000, about 145,000. Remember, changing the January entry will have a ripple effect across the worksheet. So that's gonna have some big impact. And the shipping income costs, instead of 26,700, make that be 28,000. And once again, let's say in this scenario, we're not gonna be changing the cost of goods. We'll click OK. We've now defined high sales. Quick look at it, let's just show it. Instead of 450,000, 575,000. Let's close this. Do we remember which scenario we're looking at? Well, we probably would with only three of them. We're seeing this number, but how do we get back to the other ones now? 
Well, we could go back to what if analysis, go to scenario and certainly do it this way. It's not so bad, really. But to make this even faster, we can do the following. Right click anywhere in the quick access toolbar. For some of you, you might have this below the ribbon. Right click, customize the quick access toolbar. Choose commands from, not popular commands, but commands not in the ribbon. Slide down in the letter S, and you'll see scenario right here. There's an arrow to the right of it suggesting a drop list. Click add. That's now going to be a button in the quick access toolbar. We'll click OK. So when you work with this worksheet from time to time, you'll click the drop arrow associated with that scenario button. Say, well, I want to look at the normal view. There we are. Or I want to look at the low sales scenario or high sales as needed. This button is only going to have relevance when you're working with a sheet that has scenarios in it. But nevertheless, I think you can see how that provides an easy way to display these different scenarios. And I think you could imagine too, in a more sophisticated use of this with more involved budget projections, you can have quite a few different scenarios associated with this data without having to use different worksheets in this workbook.